Well, what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium. The tension palpable. It's Leipzig. They take on Borussia Dortmund and the action is next on EA TV Live. And hello from the Red Bull Arena in Leipzig, just across the Elster Basin from the plush Kotteweg training facility. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And we have live action from the Bundesliga coming right up. It's RB Leipzig facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that, for me, is the area that's key today. Let's have a look at the starting 11 for Leipzig. Well, although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. And introducing the Borussia Dortmund side, Mats Hummel starts alongside Manuel Akanji in central defence. Axel Witzel starts alongside Emre Can in the centre of midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And so the match is underway. In the right place to cut out the pass. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. Beautifully weighted ball. And there's Silva. Vital intervention. Dortmund have been awarded the free kick by the referee. And intercepts again. Kevin Campbell. Emre Can and Witzel with it must take the lead here he's blocked it so Bosloy well they've lost the ball Holland Azar firing it towards goal Precision and style, superbly done. Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Guerrero. Nordi Mukieli. Keep working away, looking for an opening.
Won it back. Read it superbly to take back possession. Not deep, Mukieli. Difficult to stop him. Pulls it back. Ball is loose. And the keeper was finally able to claim it. Well, what a great piece of goalkeeping. Firstly the save, and then the recovery. Brilliant from him. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Emre Can and Witzel with it Minier and Borussia Dortmund in a position of menace and he successfully got past him and he did what he had to do defensively can he finish? and a goal to re-establish their advantage just look at the celebrations so the ball is rolling again 2-1 the score, what's going to happen next? Might really be able to trouble them here. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Orban. Mohamed Simakon, Emil Forsberg. How about the cross? Could be! And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. Well, as you can see, Dortmund are struggling to control possession. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter attack quickly. Silva teammate and support putting his body on the line Andres Silva a goal real excitement a back and forth type of game now they're level Well, let's take another look, and it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been. to pass the ball but remaining patient oh surely oh showing excellent judgment to intercept racing forward trying to catch them out oh lovely ball Forsberg and possession given away Emre Can Minier. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. I think the referee was spot on there. A free kick in the end after he had attempted to play advantage.
Kevin Kumpel. Mohamed Simakon. On to Orban. Nordi Mukiele. So Bosnoy. Andre Silva with it. Haidara. Emil Forsberg. On and on he goes. And a fine cross. It might still be problematic. And in the end, no damage done. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, he stepped forward for his team with the equaliser. It could prove to be the key turning point in this contest, as they haven't been at their best today. You do feel they need to find another gear in the second half, though, if they are to go on and win it. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Axel Witzel. It's with Guerrero. And Witzel with it. Holland. And here's Azar. And crossed in there. Not the best clearance. Well, they can keep possession of it now. So Bosloy, that's very effective, good high pressing. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. And there's the feed into the box, clattered away. So Bosnoy, Nordi Mukiele, Mohamed Simakon, Gvardiol, fluency of movement, but then the commentator's curse comes into play. He's protecting it well. Emil Forsberg Andre Silva Nkunku has it Holland it's with Guerrero chance to play it in cuts it back and a body in the way and there might well be scope for them to counter attack here can they keep it going? Andres Silva. And he's made it a brace for himself. The defender is just unable to stay with him. And he's having a field day. has been restarted 3-2 here well, they keep working away looking for passing lanes Azar oh incredible save and he snuffed out the danger racing forward trying to catch them out He keeps going. Could be. Can they stop it going in? Well, 
they survived the attack. Holland. Hazard. Well, they couldn't do anything with that particular cross. Nice and easy for the keeper. Well, the referee not too happy with the challenge and blows for a free kick. Substitution it is for Dortmund. Chance then for 3-2. A goal! Calmly taken spot kick. Well, here it is again. Great composure to send the keeper the wrong way before striking it into the opposite side. That's an excellent penalty. So back underway, and there we have it. Six goals divided evenly. Kevin Kumpel. Well, this could cause problems for the defenders. And Kunku. He has time to play it over. Well, he has the measure of his man. And pull back. Time just challenged magnificently. Emre Can. And a goal kick is the outcome. This is Royce. Well, it took a deflection. That'll be a corner. Well, let's revisit the penalty conversion, shall we? Short corner favoured. And the cross sent in by Royce. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Can they keep it going? And he's made headway. Oh, can you believe it? With so little time left, surely that will be the winner. Amazing scenes here. Well, he shows a lot of composure here. He just gets enough on it. That's a good finish. Dortmund will go to the bench. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Axel Witzel. Emre Can now. Well, the pass not finding its target. Oh, he really proves the crossbar. Well, the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do. Corner kick played in. Oh, terrific save. Well, that's surely it. That was possibly their last chance. What a great save that was.
Substitution time it is here. Now the delivery, not really the ideal clearance. Possession one. Counter attacking, very much an option. Forsberg. Well, when you can keep the ball like this, it's got to be really annoying for the opposition. Emil Forsberg. Vardiol. The ball with Kampel. A really sumptuous ball. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, while the movement in the box is equal to it. It's such good timing. What a goal. scoreline we see all that often 5-3 we've been waiting to find out now we know a minimum of three added minutes here mini eight nicely cut out and there goes the final whistle defeat for Dortmund much to the disappointment of their supporters well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.